All right, good morning traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? I think everything should be working. If you can, just uh, type, oh, okay, thank you, David. All right, excellent, we're all set. Um, <clears throat> all right, so uh, uh, we will, uh, uh, good morning, David. Um, We'll be going uh, through some stocks today with uh, with Jay Trader. Uh, we'll be live trading, uh, and uh, he'll be in in probably about ten or fifteen minutes. Uh, he he'll uh, he's finishing up the room uh, trading room over on his side, uh, and then he'll jump into the webinar here. So that gives us a, a few minutes to kind of uh, look at the S and P and uh, maybe um, uh, cover what we looked at yesterday, uh, answer some questions for you guys, uh, and uh, start to understand where price might go uh, also uh, right now uh, by looking at the live order flow as we normally do uh, during these webinars. So anyway, uh, yeah, it, for those of you new in here, uh, this is the live trading uh, aspect of it, uh, not forward-looking analysis, but also live trading with JTrader, his way of trading, uh, his way of looking at stocks and uh, uh, his setups and strategies and trade management. Uh, you guys know who J Trader is. Uh, I have his contact information here as well. Uh, you've got uh, his email, his website, uh, Twitter, YouTube, and also special offers from uh, from Joseph. Uh, so uh, let's go through some disclosures, and then we'll look at the uh, futures markets here and do a little bit of review. Uh, and uh, but this, please listen to these disclosures. These are important uh, to understand uh, what you're getting involved with here. All bookmap, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation, demo, paper trading mode, and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. So it's not a, co a trade copier room whatsoever in here. This is for education. Our educational course uh, online, when you subscribe to Bookmap, uh, will give you a very good foundation. Then we have the live uh, forward-looking analysis webinars, not hindsight. So you can read the current market and apply what you've learned from the course uh, to understand where price might go next. Uh, and then we have the live trading from JTrader on Wednesdays and Scott Pulsini, a futures trader, on Thursdays. Pretty complete education uh, for you guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, you find it very, very insightful and helpful. Uh, and uh, it is in demo paper trading mode, uh, just so you get a feel for what these traders are looking at, what's important to them. Uh, specific ways of trading is their specific way. Bookmap is a platform, not a trading strategy. Okay, that's why we have these other traders. Risk disclosure. Trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Uh, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right. Uh, good morning, David. Good morning, Tom. Uh, all right, let's take a look here, uh, and uh, I want to zoom out. I want to look at the bigger picture and kind of review a little bit of where we left off yesterday. All right, so uh, now this is hindsight, but we did cover this in real time. Uh, and what we were looking at yesterday, well, we saw the drop uh, yesterday. Here's the cash open down here. In fact, let me zoom into that area. Hold on. Okay. All right, so we saw this drop into high liquidity down in these areas here. Uh, and then uh, we were looking for uh, the potential for a, a reversal. Uh, we started to see the uh, a move back up in here, and this is where it got really nasty yesterday. Uh, we saw the move away from this uh, uh, structure down here. And what I mean by structure is here's the strong move down. Here's the pullback to where it dropped from here. And it went back down again. It made a lower low here. What I mean by structure is simply this, okay, here. Then we had a break of that structure and acceptance above that structure. And here it is here, a newer sideways consolidation and structure. Now at this point here, 
we're starting to look for liquidity uh, up here at this 46.60 to transact. We've broken the structure. We see some buyers in here uh, in these areas. We know buyers lifted the market away from this area. Uh, we know there's liquidity down here on the bid. They're, so, they're supporting it at a higher level with more demand up here. Uh, and then we start to see this uh, breakout here. Looks pretty good. We see pretty strong volume and the, and the move's not bad either. We're looking for 46.60. A larger player came in here uh, and uh, this is where Bookmap can help you because we can see that larger player and completely dumped uh, a, a ton of, uh, you know, hit market sell likely. Uh, and uh, I got price moving back down into this liquidity down here on the bid. And I think they did it again in here. I know, I know they did it like three or four times. We're able to drop it back down into a previous structural area down here. Okay. Now down here, we are looking again at it. Uh, we see sellers come in, dropped it. Buyers came right back in and moved it right back up to where it dropped from here. Okay. And you can see that in the volume here. Uh, and then we came back down into this area here. And this is where it got really interesting yesterday. We know that the, a lot of sellers came in, but we know also a lot of buyers came right back. Okay, this is a hundred percent retrace of the of the breakdown, uh, and then we have a, a a pullback here yet again. But look at the order book in here. Okay, we have a number of factors in here uh, that can be helpful for uh, identifying uh, what's going on in here. In fact, uh, Sam had uh, asked the question about uh, can we go back and look at this kind of ten fifty uh, area down here. Uh, from yesterday and we saw that order book here um, is uh, they're bidding up in these levels here the sellers on the previous leg that in here were not able to get through uh, this liquidity they completely absorbed it down here and then we have even more liquidity coming in here and we don't see sellers uh, trading into this area here with a little bit here right very little uh, in here uh, and um, that's it though Okay. Again, completely absorbed any of the selling pressure. And there's even more liquidity in front of it. Okay, So we have, we have kind of a, a pattern here. We have the sellers dropping into high liquidity, completely absorbed here, not able to trade through it. We have buyers come roaring back in. Uh, and then uh, we have one more drop into this liquidity here, but there are even more, uh, more demand here. Uh, and they're bidding up at a little bit higher level here. That's bullish, uh, and we and completely absorbed again on the sell side. We start to look for buyers to creep into this market in some of these areas in here, uh, and move price back up. Okay, this turned into the reversal for the day, uh, or for you know several days here potentially. Okay, so you can see the move here. I I, I hope you guys were uh, able to spot this, uh, and. Um, uh, take advantage of this. You can look at the look at the volume here. Now I know this is hindsight, but we we were covering this here, uh, and look at the volume up in these areas though. See, look at the size of the volume, and look at now the speed of the moves as well. Okay, we were looking for this move back up in this 660 here, uh, and then uh, uh, potentially like uh, yeah the 680 liquidity up here. Also, we're looking at the big figure at 4700 here. Right, so uh, that did trade in the end of the day here. Uh, and uh, now, uh, one thing that's really interesting here uh, about uh, the, the move uh, yesterday uh, was the icebergs that we saw uh, several days uh, in advance okay, uh, from, from last week and then also the beginning of this week. Uh, and uh, oh, oh, hi, David, uh, another David here, uh, Tarantino Trading. Um, so... Uh, Oh, I did not look at uh, your 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 post uh, earlier, so um, I'm sorry. We'll have to. I'll I'll take a look at that. Um, you you got it. All right, excellent. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, uh, excellent, David. Way to go. Uh, now, bigger picture here. Like we we talked about the bigger picture and the bigger structure yesterday as well. Now this is more for using Bookmap for swing trading starting to understand uh, uh, how to use bookmap on much, much higher time frames uh, and, uh, and how the icebergs and stops really helped us, especially the, it was the icebergs that really helped us here uh, and looking for this move to the, uh, to the upside here. So let's take a step back. And uh, uh, these are the drawings that we, they have not been touched. 
Okay, so, uh, you know, I actually, I, yeah, I did have to edit this one a little bit just because it was over here. Uh, I don't know why, but like uh, it, it should have remained right here. This is what we drew up yesterday. Uh, anyway, it's the same, same stuff here. Uh, and uh, this is what we saw on the daily chart here. Okay, we were looking at a zone and these wicks and also a trend line in here as an area where we might start to find buyers. Uh, and then we looked at the hourly chart here and we saw the gap here. We got a gap fill and a pullback. Uh, and then we got the extension. Uh, and then the nice move here. Now, we were looking for um, the move uh, potentially uh, back up into where we saw all these icebergs uh, last week getting filled, about 14,000. Now, we tweeted about it. And I just want to show it to you uh, so you guys uh, can can take a look here. Uh, the... Um, uh, the tweet was uh, a few days ago here, uh, this one, right, January 6th. Uh, and, uh, you know, starting to understand this was a big spoof in here uh, uh, and uh, 14,000 here. And it continued on lower. Uh, and we saw another 10,000 the next day or, or even more, uh, et cetera. So um, putting, putting together our market structure, on the higher time frame, as well as looking at the um, the icebergs or the larger players, and 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 also high liquidity on the bid getting filled. Okay, what does that mean? It just means they're uh, really um, starting to absorb, or at least not. Uh, it's not technically correct to say absorb, but they are getting filled. And when you have larger players or lots of liquidity. On the bid getting filled on the way down at some point there's just not going to be enough selling to take it lower uh, because uh, it's, all of that selling pressure has been taken by uh, uh, the high liquidity okay and the iceberg orders uh, so we start to look for when that turnaround might happen and, and yesterday it happened uh, and uh, on the higher time frame what we're looking for is first off we marked up our zones and start to look for where this might start to occur. Then we look at our hourly chart. And yesterday we were looking for the move back up into kind of where we might find sellers. And we we're looking for the move back up into this area where there's previous wicks and a drop. So, you know, this was kind of the, a zone here, this blue rectangle. Uh, and the upper uh, area of the rectangle is where we would start to look for sellers again uh, to come in here because this is where they sold before. We also noted all the, all the icebergs getting filled in here uh, last, uh, last week on the 6th, right? So we started to look for maybe a move back up into 47.20 uh, or, uh, or, or maybe even, you know, could potentially come back up into this 47.50 area, kind of where it dropped from up here. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, not only have we come back up into this area here, um, we've 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 uh, kind of uh, gapped above it, right? So uh, looking for maybe a potential pullback to it here around 47.05 or so, and see if there's still demand in here. Uh, however, we just see there's still momentum here to the upside, so it looks like it is still exploring uh, the upside uh, right now. So uh, maybe uh, 47.50 uh, is is a good target here. Uh, anyway, th this is the hourly chart here in the higher time frame and just looking again at zones and starting to understand the order flow that we covered earlier within these zones for a swing trade. Okay, Then we're looking at the 15 minute chart from yesterday uh, and we drew up our little trend line in here uh, and a zone here with this blue rectangle with the wicks. This is where we found buyers here before. Hey, we know that we can, you can see the wicks and you can see the pressures like or the moves back and forth. So we, we drew this up here uh, and then this is where this move took place here. And now we're now we've drilled into the order flow within this area here uh, to start to understand when this move might take place. OK, so uh, uh, looking at higher time frame trades, starting with structure and starting to understand uh, the order flow within that structure and then looking at also a bigger picture uh, for the day here uh, and where that uh, order flow might take place. 
uh, and, and what's unfolding uh, in, in that structure here. Okay, so uh, this is more for swing trading. All right, so uh, uh, if you are interested in swing trading uh, and holding overnight, etc. Now, the one really nice thing um, about uh, swing trading now uh, with futures is it is very, very feasible with the micro uh, contracts. So uh, maybe that's something you, uh, you know, if you guys don't have time to trade all day long or if you're scout not scalping, if you're looking for bigger trades uh, to take place uh, and how to use order flow uh, for swing trading, you can do it by using your, your micro contracts uh, and not take huge risk uh, that way. Uh, good morning, uh, Joseph. Joseph's in. Uh, so uh, let, let's... Um, Let's turn it over to, to Joseph uh, and uh, just want to um, uh, mention in here what we're just current current uh, price action. As you guys can see, I mean, we had CPI data this morning here around 830, uh, 8.30. Yeah, it was right in here. And then but even even with higher CPI, we're, we're still bullish here and we're still looking for this move up into our 4740 liquidity, which we're just shy of and then 4750 up here. All right. Uh, let's turn it over to Joseph. Uh, thank you, Joseph, for uh, being patient here as I went through this. Uh, sorry about that. I just saw you at the last minute here. Um, and uh, yeah. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, buddy. Uh, has been a good day. Uh, so we can go right away uh, to, far, to check our uh, charts. Uh, so Anybody over here has questions before to start, just like uh, reach out. So this morning, and, uh, and I hope you can see good my monitor. So this morning over here in the stock uh, room, uh, we were looking at this uh, setup over here on Tesla. This was pre-market. Uh, let me see. I believe that I still have to put my screen. Bruce, can you see my screen yet? No, not yet. Okay, so let me see over here. Okay, uh, can you give me a confirmation, Bruce, that you can yes. see? Yes, looks great. Okay. Uh, and, and sorry to interrupt you immediately on this, um, uh, but uh, for those of you um, not, uh, uh, that, that maybe if we can only, show um 50 at a time uh from one one screen i'm rebroadcasting it you can see there in in discord advanced webinar there in the voice channel you see uh jay trader it says live and then bruce at bookmap it says live so if you can't join um and watch jay traders screen then join uh, mine is exactly the same okay so tesla this morning trader was uh, one of my uh, main watch list. Uh, I don't know if you were looking at also uh, the bookmap discord room. And uh, we were looking for a pattern over here. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, share like this. We we're looking for a pattern which involve a trend line break. Uh, the green zone over here is a day J line. So we are looking for a bounce. And then I no, I'm just like Picasso over here. And we started to have a formation of consolidation accumulation. And I explained over here of a possible uh, breakout over here and a curl up. So uh, this is what instead is doing right now. So the plan worked. Uh, the setup occurred over here. And you can see that from that main support, uh, 1060, 1065, we, stood ahead, we had over here a breakout and a curl. Strong bullish for now. I want to look uh, with you two things uh, that we had on um, on Bookmap, so that you can understand the process behind. First of all, this is our daily chart. Okay, so uh, we have a, an uptrend. We can see that the price, when it gets to this uh, green area, tends to bounce over here. Bounce on Monday. And on Monday, I had a, a 1,000 alert for uh, members. I was looking for dips over here, and that dip came after a fake breakdown. If you look over here this morning, uh, I... Uh, let me put it over here. Okay. I was looking at dips on uh, Tesla, 
and then I was looking at a precise uh, pattern. So as you know, I'm looking always for the breakout of that pre-market high, and I'm looking for an accumulation pattern. So this is an accumulation pattern, okay? You can see that uh, we went all up this morning from 1080 up until 1098. Now, this is a one minute chart. You can see better that, uh, sorry, better this uh, big accumulation over here, 1090, and then a push. Once we clear this main resistance over here at 11,000, sorry, at 100, uh, 1100, sorry, we'll have probably a push to the 1120. Why? I'm looking at the previous moves. So I'm looking where the price before stalled, where we have the support, where we have the resistance levels. Uh, daily breakout, strong volume this morning, uh, increasing over here, higher lows on book map. I saw a lot of bids uh, ask being removed. I saw block order. So this is the kind of tape that I like when I have strong moves, okay? So all morning I'm saying over here, bullish on Tesla, bullish on Tesla. But you know, uh, uh, trade is not, I uh, would say, in place until you don't have the setup working, all right? So this is, uh, for example, what I wrote, uh, waiting break on off uh, 1080 and then looking to trade J-line curl along 90 May. If you look at this, and we went together, me and Bruce, over uh, many times, the fact that when you have a big heat map doesn't mean necessarily that you will have a reversal. Doesn't mean that there's a place where you're taking like all out your profits out. And doesn't mean that is necessarily a place where you want to short. Instead, think in the opposite way. Think that this trade over here, let's say we have a, a big trader. Uh, yes, we have a big trade over here. And our trader gets in, okay? Then what happens that each of these levels will be trader uh, basically where it takes profit. Okay, so where, for example, he gets out. Now, I see too many traders uh, selling because they have heat maps, but instead, heat maps are level also where traders are getting out to take profit. Okay, so if you are longing, for example, on our dip. And for example, we want to have that 1120, 1125 target, and then 1150, 1175, what you will do? You will put your limits. So it doesn't mean that the price gets to your limit and then reverses, okay? So always look how it reacts. Because for example, over here on the first breakout, we had a push and then a dip. We had the push and dip, push and dip. So it never went below this previous level. Okay, always made higher lows. And this is very, very important because uh, we're looking at the tools, how you can read better the price action and order flow. Okay, makes sense. Now, looking at, uh, looking at Tesla over here, and if you have questions, just reach out into the uh, advanced uh, over here, I believe Bruce put this, yeah, an advanced webinar. Start looking at a break of this 1100 how it, uh, it works, this heat map. So we had a breakout over here, okay? So this is a huge amount of uh, buying pressure. Uh, this is a clear breakout. Now we're gonna see if this level, 1098, 1099, 1100 will hold. Uh, let's put back, we can put the five minute chart so we can see the uh, overall picture. And we can trace our level of support resistances, okay? So we have a first one over here at 1100. Then as I said, I'm looking for it at 1120. And then we have another one over here, 1145. 1124 the previous days, previous weeks. So price at the breakout. Let's... Okay. Price at the breakout. You can see that we have also buyer. Each time over here that we uh, go up is moving also up. So this tells us that we have some clear support, okay, following the price section. So 
we have to clear that 1100 and confirm above. So we want to see the formation at 1100, 1099, 1098 of a consistent support, solid support. Uh, by the way, traders, uh, we'll cover also, I know that some traders that are here are also in, uh, in small cap room. We'll cover also the position that we took today. So we uh, shorted over here um, an XGL and we shorted the top over here on IMMX. And now we are simply holding full size and we're holding over here F size. Okay, so we're going to cover this uh, once, I would say, uh, Tesla. Uh, gets a little bit like uh, more choppy or uh, not trending, not so volatile right now. So 10.98. On a five-minute chart, you can see that still we're forming higher lows. We're still above that 90 May. I'm still bullish on this. The first entry signal we added yesterday over here into the 1000 when we start to bounce from the main zone area. So now there's no way that we have to sell this. It's still pushing, still strong. If you look this on a four hour chart, you can basically see the cup pattern. So I like to see these formations over here. See the cup pattern just after the trend line break. Strong bar over here, bullish breakout. So I'm looking for that 1100, that 1120, and then I'm looking for 1150, 45, 1170, and then for the stop. So those are the levels that I'm looking for. Want to see also today a break over here in volume and pushing. So found right now, uh, lower high, create a lower high on a five minute chart. We're probably gonna have a dip over here into the 93. Let's check also the price section with a one minute chart. So you can see the open we had. Yeah, the open was a little bit choppy because it was going up. And over here I said, let's wait to uh, take for the long. We wait over here and was choppy over here until this break of 1088, 1090. Now it's still up trending. So no reason over here to sell the whole position. So we're going to look for that support with the 90 May. So look what we have right now on the order flow. We have all this liquidity that was basically uh, eaten over here. So they removed liquidity. We have the main uh, support over here, small support, okay, small liquidity. The main support over here is 1090. And then the first liquid over here, which is not that use amount at 1105. So this means that if we start seeing over here dip into the 90 million and start again pushing the trend, we can have with this liquidity above a straight push back to 1105. So until a trend is holding AJ lines in 90 May, 
uh, moving average, a trend line, uh, and a fractals, you know, higher lows and higher highs. There's no reason over here to get out from a, from a long trade. Okay, so stay with the trend, marry the trend until you then have confirmation for of a reversal. And I think right now this is the best stock to watch. Even I have a live position on two other stocks, but this is the best one to watch. The other one I'm watching is uh, uh, Apple, which is still basically uh, lateral this morning. Tesla is the one that is showing more, uh, I would say, uh, relative strength. So in this moment, we have the bounce, uh, 10.92 over here. So they had less dip at 10.93, making higher lows. So what I'm looking always to enter, let's say I missed the first main move, okay? Uh, let's say we missed over here the the entry you want to still enter in the direction of the main trend so what i'm looking for right now i'm looking for bull flags so i'm looking for generally two or three bars on the five minute chart is pullback or the full of pullback and then i'm looking to enter on that breakout bar So they form some resistance at 1100. They're trying to make a hard low over here. Tight narrow range in the last minute uh, between 98 and 99. So you can see this is an inside bar, a little bit far from the 90 May. So this is the level of resistance. They're breaking now this trend line. A little bit of sell off from ten ninety eight. So we'll see if this is gonna make another dip into the ninety May and then curl, and then we're gonna look for a long entry over here. Okay, so these are this is for example our trend, right? So we're making our lows. These are relative lows. So we're going to look in this case for a re-entry in the direction of the main trend. Anybody focusing over here today, traders, on uh, Tesla?
lateral. Yeah, Joseph, uh, really, really like the comment uh, about understanding context uh, of liquidity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really, really essential. Uh, okay. What I like, Bruce, over here about this talk is the relative strength that today is having uh, versus, for example, uh, ES, which is just pulling back over here. You can see all the way down or looking at Apple the same. So Tesla is the one that extending the most. Look also over here in Nvidia. So we're having higher relative strength on Tesla versus the others. Now we have to be careful to long this again because the ES is giving this big pullback, okay? So you can see over here, traders are selling. We fail right now below this 90 May, so below this uh, gray, uh, moving average, we found a support at 1090, this level of here. So that's the reason why it's bouncing. But with an ES that heavy, so the market over here pushing down, then uh, I would simply stay away from taking dips long. So 1094 bouncing 1094, 1090, sorry, bouncing 1094. Okay, in the meantime, traders, I want to look at what happened today. So we're going to look at a few things. Uh, NXGL, uh, we're talking about the small caps. So uh, I'm going to share over here a few things about how to find consistency and how to have an edge. If you look over here, NXGL, We're looking at a stock that simply started to fail. We're high, and then over here is the open. You take the top, you put your stop, and then you hold, okay? So without really the FOMO to get out and take profit. But instead with, uh, I would say, the plan to hold this, all right? Uh, over here, uh, the traders uh, looking to take that. To look at trade also pre-market and then recycling along the way, okay? And we're gonna look why to take these trades, why to take these main faders, right? This is, for example, another trader. So taking the top, holding over here all the way down. So besides the, um, the, the, the filings, so besides the, um, the dilution, this company, NXGL, uh, we dig this morning has, uh, uh, warrants around fi at 550. So warrants are conscious to be exercised by 50 in order they raise uh, to raise cash for the company. It's basically a company that I'm going to put over here a daily chart first. That is having this kind of uh, trend, uh, recent IPO, but came all the way down, came all the way down, came all the way down. So lost mainly 50% uh, of um, 50% from 466 down to around 250, and then then bounce this point. So when we go and check the one minute chart in this case, we start to see a top over here at 426. So let's look together. Okay, so like this is fine. So when we push over here, 426 is the first time because you can see the price section. Is the first time we start making a relative lower high. Okay, over here you can see higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. This is the first time we make a lower high. 
which is essentially this zone over here. And then we fail, we start making again another lower high. So we confirm at this point who have a trend reversal because one high and from here can go so up and down. But over here, lower high, and then okay, it can still be a lower high in order that we can push. But in this case, we confirm the reversal of the trend because we start making a second lower high, okay? So this is really basically price action. Uh, why we traded this 360? Why traders? So what is that I liked over here at 360, okay? We have to put more things together. As you can see, at this point over here, 830, a huge amount of liquidity uh, creates a wall of sellers. Okay, so this is called wall of sellers between 390 and 4. So it means that if the price instantly start to push into the 385, 390 area, it will probably get absorbed or rejected from this big uh, liquid area. Okay, liquidity area. In this case, uh, we're buying, we're buying, but we have a lot of sellers, okay? And when we tend to have these sellers, then there will be really the fight between demand, so the buyers, and supply, so sellers. This is 9.30. So I was looking technically, okay, for an extension because you can see over here the, the, the setup is called gap and crack. Uh, let me put, uh, let me get a little bit of water, sorry. So you can see that the last push was at uh, 365 over here, 366, 367. And then we had an extra push, the 360s. I was looking at two main things. I was looking at this level, that was basically my risk. And I was looking for the price, so to get this level over here to show. When I saw that it topped, so when I saw really in, uh, in this case that we went to this level and over here we form this area, you can see this area of liquidity, so seller jumping in, then I decided to short. This is just about one minute and 30 seconds after the open. What can you see? What you can see is we have no big liquidity over here above until we find this seller over here. And then above, we have again a wall of sellers between 390 and 4. So, what basically we're looking before. Price starts to fade and gets to this support at 330. All right. So, we have a technical support over here at 330. And then it starts to push back up again. So, it basically creates over here a zone of resistance between 350 and 370. Again, what happens? It basically stalls, okay, because this was a stall, into the 360. Above, we have our 365 resistance. Above, we have the VWAP. So, just simply look for a trend line break, right? Started to fail and then simply unwinds from that. So, now you will think, wow, this is only a short from uh, 350, 360, and now the price is three. I can tell you that you start taking something like 10,000 shares per uh, 50 shares, 50 cents, you'll make like your decent 5,000 bucks, okay? And we're talking about over here an investment of 36K. So it's not really that you're gonna use a huge amount of uh, buying power. Uh, I will cover that Tom uh, soon when I finish over here, buddy. So my, the main target that this morning I called by strategy, is this level over here three we spoke in the last episode about the hold on numbers and also the important of uh, the importance of finding the hold on numbers together with high liquidity levels in this case we had the wall of sellers up here and then down here we have wall of buyers so you can see at three dollar 295 we have liquidity where it's a very good level to start covering because I'm still full size position short this area here. I was risking something like 10 cents 
And now my trade is already paying 5R, almost 5R. Not bad for a trade. Okay, actually, yeah, almost 5R. And then will be around 5.56R. Not bad for a trade that over here is just, what, one hour and 15 minutes in. Okay, so this is what happened on NXDO. What I'm going to, am I going to add over here? Yes, only if we have pops, traders, into this 320, 330. And this is uh, trading around the core. The second one is IMMX. Okay, so we're gonna talk about, uh, me and Bruce covered a few times in the last uh, months, uh, the stuff, okay? A lot of traders always asking, what is a stuff, Jay? How to trade a stuff? All right, uh, and I gave a very clear definition yesterday. I want to take it one second over here. Uh, let me find it. So stuff, stuff, stuff. I wanted to give it the exact definition because I thought I wrote something good. Long Tesla, long Tesla, long Tesla. I'm sorry, traders, I cannot find it. Anyways, I will, I will re-explain it right now. So, a stuff is a breakout of a high liquidity zone. So, we need a high liquidity. We need a high, uh, we say, a big amount of ask. We have a breakout of that. And then immediately, we have an exhaustion of the buyers that are really a surplus over here. So, we have... Uh, an exhaustion of the buyers, sellers tap in, okay? And immediately, being that we have no more over here buyers sustaining the demand, okay? Sustaining the move, sustaining the support, simply flushes. That is called a stuff move. So if you look at this chart, IMMX, we're talking about a small cap, small market cap. So we know about dilution, we know about everything. Now, I'm not really looking to explain about this company, about stats, but I'm going to explain you more about the price section that we had. Pre-market high, $8. And the same thing can happen in a small cap, in future, in big caps, in uh, cryptos, okay? <clears throat> Morning open over here. You can see we open weak. We push up. We go to this level, 750. So this level of 750 is a level of high liquidity. How do I know it's a high liquidity level? Well, just look over here at what Bookmap tells us. We have two main levels of resistance. One is over here at the 750. One is over here at 775. So we go to the 750 and we reject. So which is this push, okay? And I basically shorted this over here level. And I was risking 760. Generally, I risk for a seven, eight dollar stock between 10 and 15 cents. Okay. I try to keep my stop very small so I don't enter, for example, short over here, risking up here. Uh, for example, in this case, 40 cents, 50 cents. No, I tend to uh, trade with a very low risk. When we had the second push over here, And I'm gonna zoom in. You see that I also uh, uh, made a square over here to indicate the, the, the timing. So I was looking to uh, basically re-add exactly over here. So this is the level, it broke, and I was looking to re-add over here. Just this happened a little bit too fast. I was not fast enough and faded. 
750 breakout of a high liquidity level exhaustion in this case of buyers and then started to fade all the way down so what happens over here when we have these uh, scenarios so these pictures imagine that one side of the of our uh, price section one size over here of liquidity is basically trapped so above we have longs but if we fail the VWAP what happens over here that basically we start to have those long they're gonna stop out below the VWAP okay now I would like an attention from everybody because I will show you a few things that uh, you will uh, you will understand why these price section are I would say um, predictable okay predictable do you know trader that trading is predictable right good so let's look at this now just to i need to find over here what was is was this was uh okay yeah so if you have question on this because this is price section and together with bookmap you have the highest win rate possible setups okay so can you see traders this uh, tell me if you can see it. I'll make also a screenshot and, uh, and send you. So this is my memory. And not because I have that super memory. It's only because I do my homework. And during the weekend, I study my charts. So this is two different days. That basically we have the same kind of... Bruce, do you see over here how things correspond to each one? Yes. So equal, this is a gap and crap, okay? Gap and crap. So closing over here. In this case, we have the morning open. We have, a, a, I would say, a fast wash over here, unwind, just to collect shorts. Then we have a push. And this push gets stuffed into the VWAP. We have an open, we have a wash, a bounce, push, and stuffs into the VWAP. Then we have a dip into the J-Lens. Then we have a dip into the J-Lens. Then we have a push. We have a push and we have a stuff. We have a stuff. And then we start fading. And then we push and we stuff into the VWAP. The day over here, I said, this is the short into the VWAP, like we had basically this morning. And then we fade, and then we fade. So if we start really studying, especially the, the price section that I'm showing you, all right, uh, then you're going to really learn how to make money. Because if you see this over and over and over, you will understand how to uh, trade these patterns. Again, uh, I'm short over here at 744 average, and I still have half a position. And I'm making over here, I was risking 20 cents, 15 cents maximum. I'm making over here something like 7R. And I'm still holding for a possible more and wide. Because what? You can see over here, this fade all day. And this is fading. So like this, you build your account. And a position like this can really build your account very fast. Okay? All right. So I needed to uh, answer over here, Tom. So Tom was asking over here, any basis for exiting Tesla liquidity break, looking for re-entry, or is that short-term based on your time frame? Okay, first of all, of always uh, individuate uh, what time frame are you trading? So I'm gonna put back up Tesla. If I'm trading swing, so if I'm trading from the daily J lines, which is this main level that you see over here, the green one, then there's no reason for me to exit in over here at that resistance 1100. If I'm trading day trading mode, so if I'm looking, for example, for a curl and then logging on that curl, then I'm going to use different strategies for trailing. So for holding my price 
in trying to lock in profit. So I will exit in partials. First partial is resistance. Then I'm going to trail something if we break this uh, 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 EMA or previous relative low. And then I will give always space if the trade is starting to reestablish this trend or if we have the breakdown, the previous relative low, I'm going to exit and then ideally re-enter. I'm still long bias on Tesla. I'm still looking for this to go back to 1200, but you know, I can think whatever I want, price section uh, rules. Okay, so I'm working in the direction of the main trend. You can see over here, we have a double bottom on this dip. Uh, no clear support like we see often, okay? So no uh, clear level for me to enter on this dip. With a break in the view, I've right away pushed back up. Let's look at Apple. Let me know, Tom, if that was clear. Okay, so this is Apple over here. So you can see this is basically traders of stuff on Apple. So same as we had before on uh, uh, IMMX. But here we had the breakout pushed. So above that uh, resistance, right away flush instantly. If Tesla break 1090, is that a trend reversal? You mean down here to the downside? You mean trend reversals for the daily, for intraday? On the daily, buddy, this is not going to be a trend reversal until we're going to break, for example, this relative low over here. Sorry. And this relative over here. So oh, this level at uh, mm, Tesla over here. And this relative low over here. Okay, you want to see or high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low for reversal. Now over here on the daily, I'm still like bullish. If instead I traded this with a one minute chart, I'm still not looking for a reversal. Reversal would be only if we go with the J lines. You can see this over here below this yellow and this pink. So that is the reversal, okay? Like for example, when we had over here that we were going below and then I start to reverse the upside. Basically, as they were, it's very choppy. For now, it's still everything for the upside. Okay, you're welcome. Just ask if you if you need. Okay, Jay. So you can see over here now we started with a push. We are again above the J lines over here. So uh, we can consider the fake breakdown over here, the VWAP, as a bear trap. And now what I'm going to do, if we start making higher lows, higher high, then we can start to buy dips on Tesla. Okay, so look over here. This is a five minute chart. We start having dips, then it's a very good possible long. So 1094, the first liquidity. You can see that the price remains over here above the uh, J lines and the VWAP. Then 94.
So they're trying to break the 1094. You can see this over here, 14,000, soaked at that 94. Now they're selling some. This was the level of the previous high. Trying to see the close on this five minutes over here above the VWAP and above the 90 May. So Tesla over here is all possible. It's all possible congestion. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because we're making lower highs, higher lows inside bar right now. We're not really moving. So I'm looking for one of the two levels to break so above 94 or below 84 over here Later, below view up again <clears throat> so we are not closing above that 90 may which is this red line over here we're simply holding below Support 86 went, now support 85. Eighty four, so previous low. And again, over here, being better, we're still uptrend. So I still see the technically the blue above the yellow above the pink. We still have a strong uptrend. It's true that I have over here a heat map that soak and then start making lower high, lower low. But that's for me uh, not a good way why to start a short. Okay, so that's not a good reason why I want to short. We're still for the upside.
going to watch over here on MX. This is an easy fader, uh, daylight rejection over here. Levels. If you zoom in, you can see once we broke that 66, so they were creating a support, they were holding over here. Over here, they were uh, canceling, and then right away, didn't remain. High liquidity, boom, they sold, and started to make lower highs again and lower lows let's see if something else moving big dump on the acrs not like who the yesterday which was crazy went from 22 down to nine lost more than 50 percent then during the night, made again 100% uh, during the afternoon, sorry. CLX fading. F over here is fading. Yesterday, we had a big mover on LCID. So we have here a JLAN rejection. Let's check Apple Traders. Thank you, Tarantino. Thanks for being here, buddy. So, Apple, Tuan GMA, and why these are some good levels where to buy. I love to have the fake breakdown of the Tuan and right away reclaim. At the same time, you can see the 175 breakdown over here on Apple. Uh, so, we had the fake breakdown. So, we had the breakdown. Didn't confirm to hold over here that level 175 above, so acting as a resistance. We start to curl and reclaim over here. So this is one of the dip buys that I prefer, where we have a curl and we have a fake break of the support. In this case, of the 200 GMA on the five. So let's see over here the push. Higher lows, higher highs. Again, choppy for me today, uh, Apple. I wanted to see more direction. This is what I'm looking on the daily. So we are uptrending, pull back down here, almost to this previous support, 167, 168. And then when I will have this cross, when the one minute and five minute will confirm, I will get in long. This is on the four hours. You can see based on my strategy when I'm entering long. So I'm entering long over here. You can see traders, right? And also on this dip over here. Uh, I'm not really entering on the dip. Then I want to see a confirmation on the hourly and the four and the one um, and the one hour. Then uh, in the hourly, sorry, in the five minutes, then I have a curl like over here, like over here for now. We're at this level, so not looking for any trades.
lower high, lower lows. So for now, we have a lateral scenario on Tesla. Uh, on intraday, in intraday, we're still bullish. We still have, and also on the daily, we still have the Jalen's above this. This was another failure today, IMRN. You can see this morning it topped into a fake VWAP breakout, this level. We were at nine o'clock, so this pop, and then simply liquidity came, liquidity came, liquidity came, and it started to unwind all the way down. So BA is over here in the main support. This is one of the stocks that I trade a lot in the past, especially these months over here when we were fading. Very choppy over here, BA, uh, BABA. So on BABA, I want to see a short. So I'm looking for a short and swing, but I need to see over here this uh, uh, J line. So below this pink and then start it to unwind like this. And I'm looking to short this. So still waiting for the setup. See, I'm fading with very low volume. all the way down to the pre-market support, which is this level over here. Let's see if it's gonna reclaim the J lines and starts to curl for now, making lower highs. So in order for me to long this, I would need to see a curl above J lines. So this kind of scenario. Any question traders in the meantime or stocks that you would like to review? Yeah, real, real quiet in the questions um, lately. I, I don't know why. Um, we thought uh, going to uh, Discord would open it up and there'd be discussions between um, the, the various traders, but uh, uh, it's having kind of opposite effect. Uh, how about IMRN and JLR? Okay, so this is the feeder of this morning. 
Uh, I personally miss this. Actually, I'm a Max and uh, NXGL, so two other small caps. Uh, this is a beautiful fader. I saw some traders taking some very good, uh, with some very good averages. Uh, as you can see over here this morning, we had a push into this five. So we went over under the five over here, then started to fail a rejection of this 480, which is this level over here. You can see the heat map, right? At this point, and then started to make a lower high. So this morning we were opening very weak. I was waiting for a push into this area. You can see I, I traced it gray over here, never came, never ever came. And then at the open, I was waiting even for this, never came, simply faded, now giving a Jalen rejection, but we are almost to the target. I'm not really looking to trade. I mean, with a very good average, this is a good spot, 360 to add, even because you have two liquidity over here, 20,000, 20,000. But unless that, uh i'm not going to uh, going to trade it yeah but the point is uh was a very good fader i mean taking the tops over here at the golden zone or vweb rejection this was a goodie No, great, great stuff, Joseph. I mean, uh, just waiting, watching, w waiting for your setup. That's what this is all about. I, y you know, when you have an edge. Exactly. I mean, you're exactly. just, it's, it's just not right to not to jump in. You, if you, unless you want to lose money. Absolutely. Uh, why traders, you have to look for uh, a plus setup because it basically works. So just to show you, you have to look for that consistency, okay? So if you do seven straight green days, or if you uh, have patience and you look for those days where you basically uh, have traders that make 19 green days in a row, you have to wait for those days, okay? So there will be days where you simply have tons of uh, setups days that we're like today we had two setups in small caps and one setup on the big cap and that's it then you have to wait for those opportunities making money and uh, learning how to trade is one of the most difficult things right now but you have a good strategy you have a good app over here so you have a good software if you put things together if you align things together if you practice then eventually you will have that uh, those results okay We have a uh, sug uh, uh, suggestions for looking at uh, DraftKings, a D King, uh, DKNG. DKNG, okay, let's look over here. At least I think it's DraftKings. All right, so let's put also this on book map. I'm gonna put the last six hours. Okay, first of all, this is what I do. Uh, good morning, Trader. Uh, so I'm looking at the daily chart, and this is uh, definitely bearish. Uh, J lines below the 200. Uh, we can see that each pop that we have over here is sold. So uh, pops into this 90 May, resistance over here 34, 30, uh, more these days at 28. So this is a stock that I'm following. And then I go back and check the previous support, okay? So I marked over here the 20, actually, sorry, the 28. And then down here, we have the 17, 18. Uh, getting to a four hours, let's see, deeper. All right, so today we are inside the previous day range. I'm looking at the five minute chart. Okay, so this is what, is doing right now we can even change this uh, 
level because I can see even a better resistance over here. So we have the top, top, top. Now we are in this uh, wedge. So until I don't lose, I don't, we don't uh, uh, fail this 25, 25, 20 area over here. So I'm not looking to enter on DKNG. Uh, the reason why is because we are inside this uh, uh, trading range. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, the fail over here, 25, 30, 25, 20, 25, this year over here, in order to start trading this short. Uh, let's look at MRK. Also, let me see traders on bookmap. Okay, 25 and 26 main support. Okay, let's personally, I'm looking at this level over here. So let's see MRK. Daily chart. Wow. Oh, MRK, no mark. So what you can see traders last year, no trend. We are stuck in a trading range over here, 92, support 65, another trading range over here, 71. Inside previous trading range. So this is not one of those stocks that I like to trade because we don't have a clear direction. Okay, so each time, for example, it gets to 84, 86, we're getting pushed back down. Uh, let's check on book map. Okay. So you can see even on book map how choppy it is for $80 stock is moving in 50 cents. So uh, I don't like over here the setup body only. I will like this only if I trade uh, dips long and uh, uh, extension shorts. So only if I uh, short this, this depending on your strategy. For me, this is not a good risk reward. Like for example, if I trade something like this short okay so over here i have uh more possibility to make money with options uh well uh mrk i never traded with options i don't know even if they have probably yes but i believe with this liquidity they're spreading and i also believe that uh in counter trend days or or a strategy like this you won't get like a huge amount of profits okay 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 so exactly what I was saying. If you trade dips uh, long on top short, then it may be good for you. Absolutely. I'm starting instead uh, to watch in VAX for a short. If you start losing at 120, I'm starting to look over here these days mRNA. If we start like crossing over here, losing the 200. I'm uh, looking at every single day at GME because this for me is starting to be a good short and I'm looking at AMC. So those are the stocks that I'm looking for and I'm wine counting the next days or the next weeks, okay? So those are the plays over here. Okay, traders, 5.30. Uh, Eleven thirty for you. Any other questions, uh, Bruce? If you have any questions over here, if you want to add anything? Uh, no, not really. I think uh, we've had uh, you've answered all the questions uh, and uh, uh, went through all the order flow examples. I mean, like uh, just uh, again, like I mean, you, you everyone's heard you know us during the webinars like forever say it's about context. <laughs> And I just wanted to kind of uh, read or define what that means. I mean, like, uh, so you look for your pattern, you look for your setup, then you look for your the order flow within that pattern and setup. That's the context mm -hmm. part. It's the volume. It's the the limit order book. It's just like uh, what Joseph started off with the uh, webinar talking about. Like, hey, it's trading into high liquidity up here at that level, uh, but we need to wait and see what the reaction is after that transaction takes place uh how do how does how does the, the volume or liquidity uh, uh react after and uh that's what we're talking about uh about context uh that that was all joseph excellent uh, just going through and waiting and watching waiting for your setups thank you very much bruce so guys feel free to reach out to me even if you have questions I'm going to always tell you not my personal point of view, but what my trading strategy is telling me. 
Uh, Bruce is making a great job over here. Shoot out to him. Uh, and also uh, reach out to Bruce any time of the day and night because he's always available. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Joseph. I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Trade safe and put your always your stop loss. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Joseph. Bye-bye.